Well, hello and good evening everyone on the evening of the Lord's Day. We were favoured this morning to gather and we thank God for the ministry of Trevor Ranger and his ministry centred this morning on remembering the Lord's goodness. And so we wish him well in his ministry at Synergy and in his composition of various Christian songs. And so this evening, it's a good thing to draw near to God. And I want to just direct your attention to Psalm 92, which if you look in the margin of your Bible, you might find it's a psalm or a song for the Sabbath day for the Sunday for the Lord's day we used to sing sometimes not so much these days but nevertheless it's true this is the day that the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it <clears throat> and so the psalmist here reminds us of the mercies and of the grace Oh God, he says it's a good thing to give thanks unto God. Now we live in a day when saying thank you seems to be very much a thing of the past. People don't write to thank you for gifts. They don't thank you for all sorts of things. Now we know some people do and we thank God for them and we are reminded in the Bible it's a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord. <clears throat> Thanks be unto God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. And so the psalmist goes on to say in the second verse, to show forth his loving kindness in the morning and his faithfulness every night, day and night, we are to give thanks unto the Lord knew every morning is the wonderful blessings that come from God. And so he exhorts us here to give thanks. And now our speaker this morning reminded us to remember, not to forget, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We can be so slow to remember. But here the exhortation is day and night to remember the Lord's goodness. His mercies to us truly are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. And we sing sometimes, Great is thy faithfulness, O God my Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Yesterday, today, and forever, Jesus is the same. And so here the psalmist on this Sabbath day reminds us of the responsibility and of the privilege of leading thankful, grateful lives, of not letting his mercies lie, forgotten in unthankfulness, and without praises die, but to say, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. May we have that desire to praise God, from whom all our blessings flow. Because we are reminded, aren't we, in the scripture, that every good and every perfect gift comes from God. And he is faithful, who was promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us. So we can say on this Lord Day evening boldly, the Lord is my helper, and I won't fear what man can do unto me. Other refuge have I none. Hangs my helpless soul on thee. Leave, ah, leave me not alone. Still support and comfort me. And so we can say tonight, how good is the God we adore, that faithful, unchangeable friend 
whose love is as great as his power, knows neither measure nor end. Well, I'm just going to have a brief word of prayer with you, and the Lord bless you abundantly. Lord, accept our praise for the mercies of another Lord's day. Keep us safe this night. May our meditation on him be sweet. Accept our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we ask these things. Amen.